Hello, my name is Sander van Vught. In this video, I will show you how to put Quota on an EXC4 file system. So, before we get started, I am going to disable SE Linux. That's a requirement that you will have on Red Hat uh, and related distributions only. And I'm on CentOS, so I'm disabling it. Next, we need a partition, and in this partition, we need support for Quota. So, let's create a partition on dev SDA. Uh, I'm creating a new partition, primary partition. First one available is number three, and I'm using all available disk space. Uh, let's have a look at the option P, which is showing that we now have an SCA3 with some disk space in it, and that's all that I wanted. So we write it, and it's complaining uh, about the partition table that couldn't... Uh, and it's complaining about the kernel partition table that could not be updated. So I'm using part probe uh, to update the kernel partition table. So I want to mount this partition on a directory with the name quota. So I'm creating the directory. And in the ETCFS tab, I am putting uh, a line that is going to mount uh, the partition on that directory. So that line will be dev sea3, and I'm mounting on slash quota, and ext4 is what I want to do, and user quota and grp quota uh, are the two options that I need to make it clear that ext4 quota are going to be supported uh, on this partition. These options are mandatory, without them it's not going to work. Also, it makes sense using mkfs.exe4 on dev sea3 uh, to format the file system. Uh, next, just to make sure that everything is going to be all right, I'm going to reboot this machine. I know rebooting is not something that you typically want to do on Linux, but if you want to make sure that everything is initialized the right way, uh, rebooting uh, can be helpful. So the machine has just rebooted. Let me log in again. And let's initialize the quota system. So that would be quota check dash A V U G on dev SEA3. Oops, quota check command not found. So apparently we need some additional uh, commands. On a Red Hat uh, related uh, operating system, we can use yum provides star slash uh, quota check to figure out which package uh, we need to install to get access to the quota uh, software. There's a lot of error messages which I'm going to ignore because that will be the topic of a different video. Uh, what we need is this package. So yum install dash y quota is going to install that for us. So let's do the quota check uh, A V U G again. And oh dear, oh dear, uh, we can see that we have a bug. Quota check A V U G dev S E A 3. Uh, so what do we need? Uh, well, A is for all file systems, V is for verbose, U is for user, G is for group, dev S E A 3. Uh, let's run it without the A option, because uh, you can see that in the help, uh, it's file system or uh, dash A, but not both at the same time. Now, here we can see that uh, it's complaining about some old quota files that could not be found. Uh, we don't care about these old files uh, because quota check is just initializing a new system for us. You can see it has created two files, a quota.group and a quota.user. Uh, and now we can test if it is actually working. So let's create a user, a user Linda. 
and let's set some quota for user Linda. Add quota dash u Linda is creating a quota file for this user. So how does it work? Well, we have uh, the file name SCA3, uh, which is a petition name, of course. Uh, then we get the number of uh, blocks, which uh, she currently has in use. We can set a soft limit as well as a hard limit. Uh, so Quota is uh, listing in blocks. Uh, so it does depend on the file system block size. Typically, that would be one kilobyte. So if you want to limit Linda to uh, one megabyte, then we go into the VI edit mode, 1024. And we edit the soft as well as the hard limit and set it to 1024. So one megabyte is what she will be able uh, to be using. Uh, now that we have updated this, we need quota check A uh, to activate the new quota as well. Uh, also, we need to make sure that Linda can write in the directory. So there we go. And now we can become user Linda. And if user Linda is using a command like ddif equals dev zero of equals uh, slash quota slash Linda file bs equals one m count is 10, she should go over the limit uh, that is set and that's not working. Now, why doesn't it work? Well, it doesn't work because we still need to turn the quota system on. Quota on dash A is going to do that for us. And if at this moment uh, we are becoming user Linda again, and user Linda is repeating this command, then you can see that she gets a fail disk quota exceeded. So that proves that Quota is actually working. Uh, so some details at Quota uh, dash u Linda. We can now see that she has 1024 blocks in use which matches the Quota. Uh, you can use other commands as well such as rep Quota uh, you can use other commands as well to figure out what exactly is happening, such as rep quota dash AUG, uh, which is providing an overview of all the quota. Hey, do you see what's happening? I'm making a silly mistake here. Permission denied. Uh, you need to be root in order to do so. So rep quota dash AUG, there we go. And you can see a nice report uh, for the quota for all of your users. That's all.